Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from Water Resources. Problem states, find the critical depth of the channel shown if the flow is 18 cubic feet per second. See the figure below. So we've got a depth and we've got a width here of this channel. And what we're going to use, pulling from the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, is we're going to look at critical depths, which is going to take us to the Froude number, or the Froude number, however you want to say that. And that is found in Chapter 19. The equation I'm going to use is equation 19.79, which basically states that FR equals V over the square root of GL or the square root of GD. Um, for a rectangular channel it says there that L equals D. If you look at the equation this D is actually an L. So anyway because this is a rectangular channel you can replace that with D. Alright, the other thing to remember is if FR is less than 1, then you're dealing with subcritical flow. Is If FR is greater than 1, then you're dealing with supercritical flow. And is F, if FR is equal to 1, then that is critical flow. And because the qu uh, question asks for the critical depth, we're going to set FR equal to 1 and solve for D. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to set 1 equal to V over square root of GD. V, uh, that's velocity, is Q over A. Remember that, Q over A. Q is given as 18 CSF. And divided by area, which is going to be 12 feet times your depth. And that is all divided by G, 32.2 feet per second squared times D all raised to the one half. Alright, so here we are. How are we going to solve this? Well, I'm going to take this to the other side and I'm going to get 32.2 times D to the one half is equal to 18 divided by 12 is 1.5 over D. I just divided 18, uh, 18 divided by 12 and got what that 1.5 divided by D. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I guess we'll just figure out this side. So 32.2 to the 1 half is 5.67, 5.67 times D to the 1 half, 1 half, and we're going to multiply all this by D. So I'm going to take D to the other side and set that equal to 1.5. So, okay, now we got this equation. So let's go down here. So now I've got 5.67. Let's multiply the D through times D times 5.67 d to the one half. Man, that struggle in here, guys. To the one half. I, point, I just multiplied these two together. Times that by d equals 1.5. So you got to remember your algebra here. So d to the one half times d, you add those. So that's going to be d to the 3 halves. So it's going to be 5.67 d to the 3 halves or d to the 1.5. Because you got d to the 1 half times d to the 2 over 2. That's 1. You add those together. So that's 3 halves d to the 3 halves or d to the 1.5. So that's how I got that. And that's equal to 1.5. Divide 5.67 to the other side, and you're going to get 
d to the 1.5 equals uh, do d to the 1.5. I need to punch this out. Sorry, hold on a second here. 1.5 divided by 5.67. 0.2646 and solve for D. So to do that you gotta take the not the square root, it's basically the 1.5 root and of both sides. Okay, so and that gives you D is equal to that's the same as taking 0 0.2646 if you remember and that's to the 1 over 1.5 okay if, if this was squared you're taking it to you know you're taking the square root of it and that would be 1 over 2 so to the 1.5 it's 1 over 1.5 so you can punch that into your calculator now and that gives me a d of 0 0.412 feet and the answer to that is a. So this one's had some tricky algebra. You're going to have to polish up on that if you don't remember how to do some of this. But uh, I hope you followed along. Sorry for the for the mess. If you followed along there, then good for you. Um, anyway, hope that helped you out. You'll definitely see some type of these equations dealing with water resources and critical depth on the PE exam. So if you need more tips and tricks, head to civilengineeringacademy.com. Think right.